Hi everyone, this time I'm going to try something a little more different. I am going to do a Photoshop tutorial, especially since I finally learned how to make a little screenshot of my screen. Yippee, so yeah, this Photoshop tutorial is actually going to be pretty basic. Just follow along and you can get this done. It's how to produce rays of light or sun rays in your pictures. Now trust me, this is going to be easy, so don't get worried worrying yourself over about it. Alright, let's start. Alright, first the thing you're going to need to do is open whatever picture you want to put the light in. Uh, let's see, which one will I choose? Alright, I, I think I'll choose this one, my mermaid rock picture. I won't save the rays of light that I put into it, so it's not going to cause any harm. Alright, now that we've got our little picture, go into the filter area, go to render, and click on lens flare. Choose whatever lens flare you want to use and how big it is and then place wherever it is you want it to be on your picture. And what will this be, you may ask? Well, this is going to be your sun. So be sure to pay attention if it's hard to spot on your picture. Pay, make sure you remember where it is you put it. Alright, the next thing you're going to have to do is make another layer. And that can be done by the little square-like icon on your layers palette right there, the thing that's circled. Make a new layer, and then we are going to use the lasso, the polar something lasso, I can never pronounce the word. This is the tool we're going to use to help make our sun rays. Before doing this, I ask that you make sure that your foreground color is set to white. You'll find out in a little while. Now, take your lasso tool and make sun rays. Make shapes of sun rays. After that's done, grab the bucket tool and color it in white. Now, you don't have to do just one ray. You can make as many as you like. But I'm just going to do one to keep this simple. After you're done making as many rays as you want, oh, I, I almost forgot, make sure the rays are connected to your sun. Yeah, that's the reason why you have to make sure you know where your sun is. Anyway, now that we've got our sun together, now it's time to make them look like actual sun rays. Alright, go to your layers palette and see the optimum C? It's at 100 right now. Make sure the layer with your sun rays is selected. Then, lower the optimacy until it's transparent or see-through. Not so much that you can't see the white, but just enough to where you know there's white there. Alright, next, go to Filter. Go and select Blur and Gaussian Blur. And make sure, again, make sure the layer that you're selecting is the layer with the sun rays and blur it up until the um, bottom of it looks like sun rays or whenever it looks good to you after that's done simply merge down or merge visible whichever they're both pretty much the same and there you go sun rays well, that's it for this tutorial. I just wanted to do this because I was a bit bored and I also wanted to give a few Photoshop tutorials, you know, because I felt sort of, you know, guilty for showing off my artwork and some people saying that they just, that they don't think their artwork is good. Well, this is just a little way for the people to better their artwork. So, this is a small lesson on Photoshop and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, um, maybe I'll do more. Anyway, see you soon. Bye bye.